I'm Mira Gonzalez here with Mary Jane News, and I am with Elizabeth Nichols, who is the chairwoman of the board of the Cannabis Texas Industry Association. So we are here today to talk about some Texas cannabis laws. One of the first ones that I wanted to talk about was House Bill 3703, which is extending the Compassionate Care Act in Texas. You want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. I feel that it doesn't go far enough. Um, as far as it needs to go. I think that, that Texas has, I know that Texas has the most restrictive medical marijuana program in the United States. And um, that bill just doesn't doesn't take it there. Yeah, doesn't go far enough. Let's talk about House Bill 1365, which you described as a true medical marijuana program. So what is that bill? Um, that bill is um, drafted by um, Representative Lucio, and it creates a true medical marijuana program that um, that expands the conditions that you need and expands the ability and the availability of medical marijuana in Texas. Another bill that's going to be going through the House, or I believe it just saw a committee, which is House Bill 63, which is a decriminalization bill. You want to talk about that one a little? Yes, House Bill 63. They just had testimony in the House committee last week. And so we are hopeful that decriminalization of marijuana will occur this session. What's important to remember about Texas is we only have until the end of May, May 27th, and the Texas legislator only meets every other year. So if we don't get um, the medical marijuana bill passed and the decriminalization bill passed by the end of May, it won't happen until 2021. What can people do who uh, want to advocate for marijuana in Texas right now to make sure that that bill passes before the two-year limit is up? Call your representatives. Remember that your representatives work for you. They, they need to do what you ask them to do. So call them, tell them that you support these bills and it's important to you, tell them why. Texas Cannabis Industry Association is involved and we've got some events coming up to support that and, and link up with us on our website and we'd be happy to help you with all the all the advocacy um, opportunities that you could possibly want. Remember to call your representatives if you live in Texas and tell them that you want House Bill 1365 and House Bill 63 passed and that it will affect your decision to vote. That is really the main thing that gets them going, I've found. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you.